Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with this topic in which we'll talk about the GRC interface. So as you can see that this is the GRC interface and we get to this screen from the transaction called NWBC. Okay, so when we give the transaction as N WBC, so this stands for Netweaver Business Client. Okay, so once we go to the Netweaver Business Client, okay, if I click on this, it will take me to this particular page. Okay, so here I can select. Okay, you can see there are different Netweaver Business Client configured here. This is the one which is for governance, risk, and compliance. This is for customizing, this is for using NWBC to access risk management, okay, power user, process control, business user, base role to run GRC application, okay, and this is a restricted PFCG that will be created. And this role is basically the base role to run GRC applications, GRC process control, customizing and all this stuff. Okay, so once we click on this, it will take us to the page. Okay, so you, you can see that it is taking us to this particular page. Okay, so in this page, if you see this interface, you have my home, which is having the work inbox, the objects. Okay, you can run your process, risk, response, incident, policies, open issues, search the document, you can change your profile, etc. Okay, now let's go to this tab called master data. Okay, so in this topic, we'll just run through the tabs. We'll go into the details of these tabs in a subsequent training. So you can see that this is an organization tab, which we use it for maintaining the company's org structure for compliance and risk management related assignments. Okay, we have regulation and policies here, business objectives, activities and processes, okay, activity hierarchy, business process, indirect entry level controls, mitigation controls. So here you can see that we define the business processes over here. We define the mitigate control here. So all this is falling under the master data. And here we can see the different reports for master data. Okay, so we can see the policies by regulation, policy versions, risk associated with policies, processes and controls with policies. Okay, risk and response, risk catalog, forecasting horizon, consistency check. So you can see that under master data, we have these things. So basically it is like a master data. It is like a repository. Okay, so you create and define the, the structure, the, the key data, the master data. Okay, if you go to the rule setup, let's go to the rule setup. Okay, you can see that this is where you define critical roles, critical profiles, rule sets, Access risks functions. Okay, then here we have scheduling, so job monitor and how the report is, job is running, generate rules, continuous monitoring, risk indicators. Okay, so this is on the rule setup. Now let's go to the assessment tab. Okay, in assessment tab, you can see that you have the same tabs over here. So you can create risk control self-assessment plans here. Okay, let's go to this tab which is access management. So this is our most important tab where we review, do the analysis for risk. So this is where the risk analysis is done. Risk analysis is done by user, by user level simulation, role level, role level simulation, profile level. So we will go through them one by one into each of them mitigated access which users are mitigated what are the mitigation roles are there hr mitigations which are the hr mitigations in, in place so that is on the 
access risk analysis in the ARA part. Now this is your ARM part. Okay, access request management. So new users, password self service. Okay, then we have role management that is design and modify business and application roles, role maintenance. So this is your role mining is there. This is one important tab which is role import and role update. So you can import an existing role, say for example, you can export from your dev system and import into your production system. Okay, so then you have derived roles, role risk analysis. So we will go through these tabs. Okay, so emergency access management. This is where you assign owners to firefighter IDs and provision firefighter IDs for firefighter. Emergency maintenance is there. Okay, so maintain firefighter and controller assignment. These are the access requests. Okay, so compliance certificate reviews, alerts. So this is where you define the background jobs and monitor the background jobs. So this is one important tab, we'll spend more time here. Okay, so this is access management. Reports and analysis. Okay, in the reports and analysis, this is one important tab for the management. Okay, so they look at what is the heat map, overview, top risks, which are the top risks, how they are performing in terms of compliance, access management, change report, Okay, so user authorization analysis, entity authorization analysis, role authorization analysis, object authorization analysis. Okay, so these are the different rep analysis reports is there. So you have reports for emergency access management. Okay, then we have risks and opportunities report. Okay, risks per objective, risk catalog. So different reports are available here. So this is another thing which mainly the managements are interested in. Okay, now let's go to the user creation tab. Okay, so in this particular tab you can see that role sync schedule process. So we synchronize the roles. So we select, okay, we synchronize the roles. Say for example, if we have an ECC system or depending on which system we have the role, so this is synchronized. To that particular system okay, so that it is in sync okay, so that is on the user creation part okay, so now let's go to the next one okay, so this is taking some time so let me go to this tab here in the meantime you can see the risk structure Here we have risk assessment. We will go through them in our subsequent training. Risk monitoring, the critical rule sets, the report center. This is where we have the different reports. User access. So you are doing GRC role assignment, access risk analysis, emergency access management, okay, mitigated access. So these are the different tabs which is present. Okay, so we will go through them in detail in our subsequent training sessions. Okay, thank you for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.